and bands. Now, again, what we saw earlier from the head-to-head, -head, Dharma and Elaine, are we going to be seeing that ban first or that priority pick? But I feel like that's going to be a Zhang Fei as the first ban for Extraction PH, followed by Lian Po on Voyin mm -hmm. Alliance. Yes, I mean, a respect on these two really tanky heroes on uh, the realm side. Well, Yanpo can be played on the clash lane too, but most of the time he mm. is also like utilized in in the realm uh, as a role. But yeah, um, uh, this is like more on the respect in terms of what they can do into clashes. So they want to take this one out first. Mm hmm so, oh, there you go. Now we have a Dolia ban. I feel like this is more on the ban. Um, I feel like that's going to be interesting though. What's going to happen next? Okay, Lamb is going to be secured by Extraction PH here. Let's see how Voin Alliance is going to be um, responding back to this. Lamb priority pick. Did we have a good game with Lamb? Yes, we did with yes. eSports. Is it going to be the same? Okay, Philippine team. Um, I feel like it's already a Philippine staple. Lamb is already a Philippine staple, but we are going to be seeing another roamer here making his debut to a session of Kings and then followed by Arlie. Now this is looking scary that there is an Arlie uh, uh, secure in here for the side of Voin Alliance matched that up with a gooey goozy. Uh, they can mm -hmm. dish out some uh, sneaky play with yes. the ultimate coming from the gooey goosey as well. And again, Arlie is not something that you can easily catch up to unless you really have that hard CC that you can lock in this target to. But at the same time, whenever he has the uh, ultimate available, it's going to be tricky. Now we can see in here the Dharma getting secured by Extraction PH as well. And Show You Wet too. So Show You Wet, really great sniper uh, mm -hmm. in the lane. Actually, the Show You Wet, you can actually see that not just in the farm lane, but sometimes in the mid. But it's not being done as of the moment right now because uh, there is like. Um, you know, we are still lacking some uh, heroes here in the global launch in comparison to the China server. But uh, in terms of clearing of the waves, uh, definitely can match up against the Arli, but he is not as mobile compa in comparison to the Arli. Right, and we're going to be seeing the Princess Frost secured here by Voin Alliance again from our previous experiences. Again, the zoning capacity of a Princess Frost is quite scary as well as the damage potential um, if ever she is able to freeze one of the members of Extraction PH. But then again, I mean, we're still lacking two more roles for both teams. Um, looking at it, I feel like... Oh, okay. Extraction PH is still lacking a possible mid laner since we, since what you've mentioned, we don't uh, really see um, their third pick onto the middle uh, lane. And then Voin Alliance still lacking a farm lane as well as a clash lane. So mm -hmm. now Extraction PH is going to be banning out the lane. Of course, the potential of the lane is quite scary later on in the game. Um, so I feel like that's already that's what they're trying to. Um, avoid yeah. onto this matchup. It's a good ban. I mean, the head-to-head -head a while ago, it showed that they're uh, like... It's really scary. There, there's a, an upper advantage in the Elaine onto the hands of the uh, player on the side of Point Alliance. So I, that is a good reason to ban. There is still the Mozzie available uh, as a potential roam for the side of Extraction PH. But we'll see about that. At least that will help out in terms of like zoning out either the Princess Frost or maybe even the Gooey Goozy. But seems like they want to go for this Wangzi in here as they want to cancel out all Ooh. those uh, frosty moves coming from the Princess Frost. So it's okay. I mean, not really my kind of favorite to go up against. Uh, I mean, this is a reasonable uh, counterplay, you know, just to cancel out all those CC that might come up from the uh, Princess Frost. But for the meantime, they also have the Lady Zen, which is also good just to match up a little bit the frosty moves that the Princess Frost can do. Agudo, though, um, this is interesting because is it our first time? I feel like this is the first time that we'll be seeing this onto this tournament. Um, she is much more of a tanky here, from what I what I recall or what I've seen so far. So now I'm interested as to how uh, Voin Alliance is going to be playing this out. But then again, just um, 
since we are seeing newer heroes every single day, we're not going to um, the classic picks and bans from uh, the previous days that we've had. Now we want to be able to see something different. And is the Aguto pick going to be any different? Um, is it going to be advantageous or are they going to be able to capitalize on that? But here we go. We are going to be starting things off. Voin Lions versus Extraction PH. Indonesia versus Philippines. And now we are on to the Land of Gorge. Looking onto our map here, no casualties yet, so no aggressive place just yet, but we are seeing those early invasions. Now it's a matter of who's going to be able to take who first. Mm -hmm. That is so true, and look at that uh, push coming from the Guan Yu just to secure that objective, that steal that they would want. I mean, just a little bit of gold lead on that particular moment, but that is one way to show that they can actually they have the upper advantage in terms of going for that early post in the game. Now we see this lane matchup uh, right now. You can see that long sniper move coming from the Shoyu way, and uh, at least that is uh, actually one way for him to actually match up. A really mobile Arlie but again Arlie is very mobile so he needs some more definite precision in actually eyeing out targets but meantime we see members of Wayne Alliance waiting in the bush but I think Seth knows and they will see some members coming from extraction in here going for the bush there goes the knockback in here CZ is coming here and there super low right now one member of the Void Alliance but he will be able to survive this gooey goozy no casualties from that particular skirmish and the fact that both teams had one specific player down low on HP and they managed to not get any casualties, that's already a big sign. And um, I'm interested as to how they're going to be holding up against each other later on. Again, um, just the damage potential earlier on from the side of um, Voin Alliance. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty big, but they go towards the oh, bottom lane. Is it going to be another casualty? one casualty grim is out of the play but um cray four is still alive here so one uh casualty from the side of extraction ph but that's not going to be followed up by anything else but is it going to be a punish here right onto this middle part of the lane and there you have it and again it's going to be back away for the call of the side of extraction ph but there you go the follow-up from them is coming in as well as princess frost dharma is out of the equation he does manage to get a dash out but lamb unfortunately is going to be taken out as well that is a one for two trade for both of our teams there is a lot of CCs coming in here from the lineup of Team Avoin Alliance. They are not currently able to utilize Krafer Zwangzi in here uh, because during the team fights, their formation needs to uh, need some working out on that one. But also going back to the one v two fight that Arli has won up against the Shoyue as well as uh, the Zwangzi. That is actually one power of the Arli. You know, you don't need to actually uh, guard him so well. But meantime, we see this clash going on to the bottom lane part of the map right now a lot of members come from the void alliance team princess frost will fall down uh, rather he will mm. kill up the show you where but loud who's mm. gonna go for a double kill even he's gonna get frozen here one member on the <gasps> side of team extraction ph and they are going so low however the zwangzi will get killed up against the uh member Ooh. of team quadra even for scroll this is one pro move from one of the members of void alliance Scroll just being able to secure a quadruple kill and an early ace onto extraction ph that already says a huge statement and then another objective secured tyrant secured for the side of uh voin alliance here are they going in for that overlord though we're going to be able to see that but an engagement is going to be coming in here onto the middle part of the lane very low for the roamer of Voin Alliance, but disengage is going to be the call, and that's not going to be a casualty for the side of Voin Alliance. But going up top, we are seeing Dharma, Lamb, and Princess Frost, as well as Zian and Po here. Is there going to be an engage? Um, or is it going to be more of a zoning out in preparation for the <laughs> Overlord? But again, it's it's a 2v1 situation, so let's see how that's going to play that, out. That, uh, that farm uh, camp just got reset 
<laughs> being pushed a lot of times by Chucks, the Guan Yu of Team Void Alliance. But yeah, this is a massive lead right now. 3k gold lead and looking like Dharma is in a bad position mm -hmm. right now. He needs to just give this all away instead of giving up his life. Or maybe just clear of the minion waves. But that is going to be tough because we're talking about an Arlie that has gone online as well from the kill a while ago. Add more to that, the uh, Princess Frost actually got the quadruple as well. Voin Alliance are just going in it together. And that's what we're seeing up top. And now the response is going to be coming in from the side of Extraction. Flushing out the members of Voin Alliance. Are they going to be able to secure one kill here? The ultimate of Princess Frost is going to be coming in. But that's not going to be enough for Tammy Do to just get taken out immediately. But again, the turrets are not looking too good up to the top lane mm -hmm. for the side of Extraction PH. And still, Voin Lion still looking on to getting this second turret up top. But let's see if that's going to be the call. But looks like it's going to be another rotation towards the middle of the map. But looking onto the bottom lane, they are going to be securing one more turret. And the sniper is not going to be connecting, unfortunately. But another engage is going to be coming in here onto the middle part of the lane. Princess Frost Ultimate just zoning out those members of the side of extraction ph a lot of members have health here but disengage is going to be the call and no further um casualties are going to be met that is so true in here uh now uh, oh, 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 because we have a fight oh, going here Aguro will fall down onto the hands of lamb uh quite deep on that part of the map though now oh, the dharma is actually going for that kill We'll be able to secure that one, but the god like it here will go into the hands of Skrull onto the Princess Frost. It was almost actually a kill by Tammy Drew, but quite unfortunately, he did not sustain the damage coming from Princess Frost. It's a one for one trade, and unfortunately, the damage was not enough to get Cho out. It's I mean, it's just a response, like, going back and forth. But then again, looking at the gold lead, discrepancy is already a bit high for both teams. I'm not so sure how, as how to, or how this is going to be playing out. But then again, the conceptualization, as well as some of the execution of the side of ex Extraction PH, is there. They were able to slam uh, multiple members of... Um, Void Alliance off to the wall, but then again, the damage output was just not enough, and that's going to be another objective take, uncontested objective take from the side of Void Alliance. So, objective wise, the upper hand does go to the side of Void Alliance, but are we going to be seeing another engage here? Looks like it's not going to be the case. Blue buff secured for the side of Void oh, Alliance. Slam actually went all in in here. There goes the clash. Wangzi will fall down. Two members left, but no limit to Grim right now, which is all alone inside oh. of Team Extraction Page. But he will fall down as well. No. A wipe out by Team Avoid Alliance. And uh, they have the Wyverns in here uh, walking towards the path in the mid, as well as on the top side. They definitely can end this just within 10 minute game time. Not even 9 minutes, but Lamb has actually gone back. Would be able to clear off the waves that is the question what can he do will there be a respect yes they will be respecting the members okay. that have just gone back into the game from extraction ph okay that's respect and discipline okay mm -hmm. so we do have the tyrant available i feel like this is another uncontested objective side of void alliance and um the focus of extraction ph is just getting rid of those wyverns onto the map i don't think they're going to be further engaging the side of void alliance onto this tyrant as well i feel like they're just going to be waiting for an overextension but is that going to be the case here for the side of void alliance extraction ph a little bit far from each other dharma is up top he's not going to be able to push anything or any turret there he is going to be coming in for that rotation possibly going in for uh the backup in case his team needs it so this is a good call for the side of extraction ph now it's a matter of defense for them is it now the question is how long are they going to be able to hold this off Mm -hmm, that is so true. I mean, now we're seeing how hard it is for Grim on the show you where to actually manage and deal with a lot of CCs and knockbacks and knock ups coming from the draft of Void Alliance. He is not that mobile. I mean, it could have been better if it's actually a Lady Sun or a Marco mm -hmm. Polo that has, uh, you know, higher mobility or maybe. Yeah. 
the Renji, you know, just can mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, remove all the CC that may be coming from the Guan Yu or even this uh, Gui Guzi as well as the Princess Frost. But here we go, oh, members no. of Final Alliance already entering the base of the members of Extraction PH. Let's see how this will go. Look how the Guan Yu done pushing out the members of Team Extraction PH. Oh, members are here onto the crystal already, eyeing for the target, but Arlie will fall down. Oh, a shot down! The Princess Frost, but the rest of the members of Team Void Alliance are wanting to go for the crystal, but to no afford. I think this is a good job coming from Extraction PH, clearing of the minion waves, and killing some members on Void Alliance side. They did a really, really good defense. I have to commend Extraction PH. That was defense. And if we were able to see the crowd control onto the crystal, that was one of the place that they were able to execute really 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 well and that managed them to get multiple kills on the board uh exactly like three kills on the board but then again the over as well as the tyrant is now has now spawned and it's a matter of time before we see another engagement but i don't know if they're going to be contesting this any further again their crystal is just going bare their base is bare no more high ground turrets for the side of extraction ph and Un another uncontested objective for the side of voyant alliance now are they going in for that chase that is the question are they going to be um respecting are they going to be disciplined enough or are they going to be over extending their stay onto the base of Extraction PH, knowing the capabilities of Extraction PH. But then again, Shadow Vanguard has already spawned. Now it's a matter of how well Extraction PH is mm. going to be able to defend this. Yes, we'll see. I mean, they could uh, rinse and repeat what they have done a while ago. Just clear off the oh, minion so waves coming in. But here we go. Look at the backside. Look at the push Ooh. coming from the group. Oh, really good job taking down the members. Four members down. Oh, it's just hack dog. Hack dog, he said. There is no more hack dog to eat out tonight because it's going to be Team Avoid Alliance winning that game one. We got to give it to them. I mean, they were so aggressive. And we... How long was the game? 10, 11 minutes. 11 minutes into the game, their aggression, you can feel it. And we were able to see it. Um, it's just that Extraction PH was a little bit pressured from that first game. But then again, what I, well, well when it comes to um, esports and these types of games, what I like to say is that usually there are some teams that eventually wake up after the first game, right? So probably Extraction PH already got the feel of what. Um, what Void Alliance is trying to do and probably they will go in for a much um, sustainable lineup onto the second ma or second game of this match but now looking onto the game results we are seeing Hackdog as the MVP of uh, Extraction PH and of course Skrull we cannot forget Skrull he's the MVP and it's well deserved he he managed to get Quadra kill earlier on to the game and that was already a crucial um, crucial pick for his team to just eventually you know get all those kills and get those objectives and they just gave extraction ph a very difficult time and if i'm actually gonna pick a second mvp in here it's gonna be chokes in my list because he did so well oh, in yeah, going true. for the flanks uh, not mm -hmm. just on the side, but even on the back, targeting Grim and the rest of the squishy targets on the side of a team uh, Philippines in here. Seth as well on to the Lady Zen, and that was quite unfortunate for them. Actually, on the last clash, it was Grim who uh, fell down first, and he is yeah. actually the source of damage for the side yeah. of team... Uh extraction page in here but to no afford so yeah we head on to our mvp of the game it's gonna be our quadra kill princess frost scroll mm -hmm. on to the side of foin alliance i mean what can you do with a team fight rate of 90 percent he time he was alive most of the time and his picks were really crucial for his team so um i love this for the side of uh, voin alliance but for extraction ph they have to figure it out i mean again what you mentioned earlier just the mobility in terms of mobility arlie up against um a hero that is not as mobile that's going to be a lot more difficult so i i am expecting extraction ph to um you know counter that arlie probably ban out the arlie possibly and then respond to the type of aggression that is coming in from voyan alliance so they held up pretty well i mean 
towards um the the crystal fight wherein all of the um inner turrets were just destroyed they were able to hold up against yeah. void alliance but then again it was a matter of how long are they going to be able to defend it and then just the uncontested objectives that was just a no-brainer already uncontested objectives allowed void alliance to just snowball right through and be able to get those um crucial picks and eventually get a win over what less than 11 minutes yeah, that's so true. I think, well, be be because of that uh, potential comeback coming from Extraction PH, it was mainly because the uh, Shoyue was actually free heating from the backline. And the normal attacks of the Shoyue really hurts a lot, especially if he gets like three uh, or two items on his uh, kit. So that's going to be looking scary. But the second time that it so happened that uh, Team Void Alliance was trying to aim for the crystal already, it was, uh, I would I would say, it was really Guan Yu uh, being the life savior of that fight because he targeted, he, he, he rotated towards the backline and targeted flanking onto the Shoyu way just to kill him off and not deal so much damage up against his teammates. So really good job coming actually from both sides. I would say it's just a matter of like, you know, what realizations they made after okay. miss some mistakes. Right. Mistakes were made, but then again, it's the best of three series. So we're going to be heading on to game number two. And now I'm interested as to how the response of Extraction PH is going to happen because it was very punishing for them to get wiped out three times, if I'm not mistaken. And that's already a big statement coming from uh, Void Alliance. Their aggression, their damage that they have been dealing all throughout the first game, it was just a complete snowball. So let's see how game number two is going to be. Of course, Extraction PH, they committed some mistakes earlier on, but now have they learned? Have they or are they going to be taking it to another level wherein they can soak up all those damage and then probably, you know, probably have the same play as Easy Reborn Esports wherein they were they're going to be pushing onto the later part of the game so that they can actually snowball and turn things around or is it going to be um, another 2-0 on our book? Yeah, we'll have to see though, but same bans in here, it seems, at least same first ban uh, on to the blue side where the Zhang Fei will be requested. There will be no lamb, however, uh, we, we've seen. I mean, the way that Team Void Alliance played the Guan Yu a while ago, if you know that they are very confident and going for that aggressive backline and mm -hmm. flanking place, you don't want to give another lamb as well yep. because they can, they probably would want to want to use the same way uh, as to how they used the Guan Yu a while ago if they have the lamb. So I think this is a nice ban coming from coming from extraction, but they have to take note. Maybe they have to cancel out some heroes that they have picked. But it's gonna be Void Alliance canceling out the Arlie for extraction, and follow that up with the Elaine ban. Traction mm -hmm. PH. Now we're going to be moving on to our picks. Who's going to be the priority pick? Is it going to be, are we going to be seeing the same heroes from earlier on? I mean, why change anything, right? But there you go. Dolia. Um, healing uh, capabilities of Dolia. This is great for them. Uh, I feel like they're going in for the damage yet again. But now we're going to be seeing two more heroes for this, for the side of Extraction PH. How are you feeling about it? Ah, oh, the Fuzi. Actually, I uh, I just remembered the Fuzi now. This could have been better picked from game one a while ago Actually, to go up yeah. against the Arlie. I mean, Arlie, you need a hard CC to, to, to stop her from moving right. around the map. Or maybe even the Guan Yu from reaching off the back line. But uh, I love that I see him right now. That Sao will be secured in here as the pick on uh, Extraction PH. But uh, ooh, Gan and Mo and Lianpo more sustaining here. But maybe Lianpo is gonna go on to the clash lane this time to match up against the mm. uh, Fuzi. Or maybe no Fuzi. It seems like he, maybe he's gonna be the marksman, or rather the farm laner for mm. the side of extraction instead of the clash lane. So Byron's gonna be uh, matching up against uh, potentially. We don't know yet. Actually. Yeah, Lianpo is going to match up against the, the Byron and Adolia going to be matching up against the Dat Dattel. This is interesting though. Um, I don't think we've seen Gan and Mo ever in this tournament. A okay. Mm -hmm. In AOK. Wow. But I've seen it in global tournaments and I know how 
capable it is when it comes to shredding opponent. So yeah. this is really interesting. So now, and it's a long range type of damage too. And once you get caught up, it's just so much. It's it's painful. Let's just say let's just say that. But um, we'll see how Extraction PH is going to be responding to this Ganonmo and to the Tiempo and of course the Doya. But they're going to be for the side of Voin Alliance. They're going to be banning out the Fang, and then Na Nakar, if I'm not mistaken, for the side of Extraction PH. So they don't want to they don't want to deal with uh, very high mobility heroes for uh, game number two, as well as right. Gu Yi. Right, and you have mentioned, I mean, there's no high no in here, but there is the Ganon Mo. I mean, I would like quite, it's, I mean, their damage and the pokes that they can dish out is quite similar. Mm -hmm. But they, they don't want to match it up with another type of poke uh, mage in the mid. So they will be banning out the high no up against Extraction Page. So I think that is a good decision that they have done. Hoye will be removed from the map uh, against uh, Team Avoid Alliance as they don't want to deal with any late game heroes. But could have been a better one. I mean, um, I was like thinking, okay, Lady Sun maybe, but they just want to go for the Hoye. But uh, the Renji secure in here it is looking like the draft of Voin Alliance in here they would want to look for fights you know they have the Lubu they have the Lianpo they want the mm -hmm. fights to happen but at the same time um in here Extraction PH they have the global map presence with the Datsao and I'm, right. I'm really looking forward to creating those surprise plays that maybe they can gank out the lanes on uh, where the Renji as well as Gan and Mo is Right. I like this CM pick. Um, it will provide a lot of space for the side of Extraction PH. Of course, the stun is pretty annoying. We've already seen that um, get, uh, that was already executed by another team. But now it's going to be... I, I really can't tell. Um, it's difficult to say, but I am interested as to how Extraction PH is now going to be responding back to... Um, Void Alliance with this type of lineup. Again, I like that Liang pick. It's just, is it going to be, you know, enough for them to be able to secure another game towards the end? So the Dolia pick, they're looking onto its healing capabilities as well as, um, the a uh, cooldown for the teammates. So let's see early clash coming in up top. Um, two members of the side of extraction pH a little bit low here, but they're not going to be further engaging onto this gunfight. I feel like it's going to be a three v two, four v two situation. They are going to be invading that red buff, securing that for themselves. And yeah, I mean, no casualties whatsoever, but they are going to be delaying that push, getting onto that minion wave up top, and that's going to be giving them the advantage later on. Look at that. We can see a lot of cross map play, but the first blood is going to go onto the Ganymo, onto the hands again of the scroll. Make it that true. Two kills in favor of Boyne Alliance. And again, just within two minute game time, not even past, uh, actually just past one minute, it is now mm -hmm. again a two score kill lead in favor of Boyne Alliance. This is looking bad right off the bat for Extraction Page, but they're not even stopping. Super low right now is crawling here, going Ooh. for the 1v1. Oh, he is so low. He's going to get pushed, but the flash away he'll be able to survive and save his life but members of extraction Ooh. PH still want to go for that chase flashing away are the rest of the members who are super low and they will all disengage i feel like now i understand the dolia and um ganon mo uh duo so dolia is capable of pushing back opponents and ganon mo is really for long range damage mm -hmm. so i love how they are both um complementing each other at this uh at this part so that allows the ganon mo to actually get onto those kills and secure those kills earlier on but now we're going to be looking at the upper part of our map here they are going to be spotting opponents but is it going to be an engage i feel like it's going to be a call for extraction ph to just back away we don't need this necessary um it, we don't need this team fight this necessary team fight but there you go they are going to be isolated here but that's not going to be enough to get anyone out of the map 
That's so true. I mean, a nice way for the Lubu to actually go for his ultimate, just zoning away the members of Team Extraction P. It's just gonna be dangerous, you know, if they actually go on for the team fight, regardless, because, uh, I mean, they are not in a position, again, the lead is in favor of Team Void Alliance. I think they need to catch up in terms of the gold as of the moment. Um, D. Renji could have pushed a while ago as well from the bot, but we'll see about that. So, at the same time, I think Fuzi needs to be very careful on who is actually gonna be locking in here as a target you don't want to be locking in like that of uh, let's say the the ah uh, i mean the renji ahem uh, I, I like his name ahem like <laughs> ahem, right right so because he just has his own cleanse to be able to to survive from any cc that the rest of the members of team extraction ph can do but so far looking good uh extraction ph just avoiding clashes for now mm -hmm. which is a, a good strategy that they can they can do at this moment in time they don't need those ego picks either. Um, I feel like uh, they understand the avoid unnecessary team fights because we don't we don't need it. There's no mm -hmm, objective. Mm -hmm. We don't need um, Void Alliance to get those kills and um, get those uh, th get the gold lead up and running. So let's 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 try to avoid that. But there you go, Hackdog is going to be oh, rushing ultimate? out of that that's equation. Right. But that's not going to be connecting, and that's going yeah. to be an objective secured for the side of Void Alliance. So that's more of a zoning. Mm -hmm. um, zoning play but now we're going to be seeing multiple members of extraction ph a little bit low on hp and again they will back away smart call mm. for their side but they can't keep holding this up yeah that's so true i mean he is not having that second thinking about okay i'm gonna go uh reserve my ultimate in here but he mm -hmm. gave it away i mean just use it to allow your members to actually secure that objective and they're, right. they're not even stopping because they're stealing away even the blue cam yeah. of team uh extraction ph in in here leaving hack dog just to eat hack dog for himself <laughs> and not even the camps uh, of uh oh but hold the thought because of the bottom lane part of the map fusey will fall down on a 3v, 3v1 situation and mm. likewise the tower will fall down too this is really scary for extraction ph i mean again we're going on for um we're already at that part where in void alliance they just go in and dish out all of their skills just so that they can zone out the members of um extraction ph and that's very effective for them to be able to get an un uncontested objective and that's exactly what they did in game one and that's exactly what they're doing in game number two so now you know extraction ph they have to play together they can't be um isolated from one another anymore simply because the more they get isolated the more they get picked off the more objectives that is getting um that is being secured by void alliance on top of that their camp is just you know it's it's just getting um it's it's getting shredded by yeah. the uh, by Void Alliance here, and that's going to be another engagement here. One member from Extraction PH very low. Is it going to be enough? No, that's not going to be enough, and they're going to be able to back away yet again. Dolia is here trying to finish the job off. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough as well. But are they going to be able to push this middle turret? That is the oh, question. kill Ooh. though the Ganon No will secure the kill up against Seth. The Liang onto the side of Extraction PH. I think he flashed in and then went for that uh, poke uh, just to kill off the members. But yeah, this is looking good. And uh, I mean, the dance floor is definitely onto the hands of Foin Alliance, even taking mm -hmm. down another tower in the mid, giving them more space, not just for vision, but at the same time, full map control. This is going to be a quick mm -hmm. one with D-Rangi having the DPS already in favor mm -hmm. of them. So that is a lot of obje objective being taken by Voin Alliance. We are looking at a 4k gold lead, not looking too good for the side of Extraction PH. They have to, um, you know, be smart when it comes to how Voin Alliance is trying to isolate each and every single member um, from their team. Uh -oh, there you go. Oh, 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 into a hot dog oh, is yes, going to be taken out. <laughs> Oh, yes, it will. Yes, indeed. I mean, the ultimate came from the dope. That, that tower uh, was quite late, so he wasn't able to save himself. Well, there will be a tower exchange in here on the top as well, onto the bot as well. But again, still resources is in favor of Team Voin Alliance in here. But I love how Extraction PH is actually trying to make a comeback by making that cross-map play. 
Right. Cross map play indeed. And I feel like that's going to be coming in crucial. I mean, if you're going to look at, at the top lane for the side of Void Alliance, they are um, less on turrets there. But then again, Extraction PH can't be too confident. Um, especially because of the map control that Voin Alliance currently has. So Extraction PH, they have to focus on trying to get that discrepancy in terms of gold lead down. It's still on a 4k uh, gold lead, so they have to be careful about that. Uh, they have to make sure that they have their the proper itemiz itemization so that they can go up against the damage being dealt by Voin Alliance. But here we have a 2v2 situation. What is oh, going to be the call? Oh, the ult is going to be there. Damage as well. Uh, it's a situation I feel like they're not going to be able to go out but there you have it they're gonna be able to um move out of that engagement and it's just going to be no casualties for the side of extraction ph and despite no casualties there is a space created for void alliance to actually go for a push onto the top side but the decision coming from craver as well as grim they want to go for the counter push on the bottom lane mm -hmm. part yep. of the map instead so i will again the macro play is still commendable despite being on the losing side for extraction ph in here they're just trying to buy time as well but in yep. here uh let's see if they will be able to yes they were able to no actually there's still the minion waves on the, the top side part of the map and d randy is actually working on the job to actually go for a push meanwhile team extraction didn't manage to actually go for that inner tower push onto the bot and I feel like that already says a lot, but what? there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. is gonna be taken out. So that's the punish coming in. One life for one turret. Unfortunately, they were not able to push onto the inner turret um, of the side of Void Alliance. But again, this is already, I mean, Extraction PH showing signs of life here. Um, we have eight seconds before those major ob objectives start spawning yet again. And we have here bush. Extraction PH trying to get bush. onto that. But the bush is going to be here. But it's going to be a 3v2 uh -oh. situation. Zoned out. That's going to be taking Liang mm -hmm. out of the equation as well. Who's going to be getting that? Steel. And there you have it. Oh, yes. Steel, as well as three casualties from the side of Extraction PH. Not a good trade-off if you ask me, but they will they manage to get a turret? Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to do so. And really, uh, they were able to escape the death coming from the gun and Mo as well. So mm -hmm. one mistake coming from the extraction page in there is that they didn't check the bush. So now yeah. uh, Sena was actually happily just uh, giving that vision. No. But for the meantime, on the middle lane part of the map, we can see the fight happening already. Killing spree for the Lubu. They are actually going all in, even though taking in, soaking in the damage coming from the high ground tower. But Seth, as well as the rest of the members of Team Extraction PH are back alive. They need to respect that. They will just instead go and transition Onto the bottom lane part of the map, we're in the members of... Uh, actually, there's actually a good push. Wyverns are in there, still healthy, and uh, mm -hmm. there might be a chance. And there goes oh. Lou again with the ultimate zoning out and allowing a free hit for the DRNG to take down the tower in the bottom. This is a 5v4 situation. Uh, in here, we can see the dragon still all alive, but they are losing HP in here. Uh, Pay is... Seemingly wanting to go for a flank, but that's going to be dangerous as well because, I mean, so much damage coming from the ground and mow, so as is the d -rending. So, still have to respect that. It's a matter of defense now. <laughs> For the side of Extraction PH, it's the same story as what we have seen on to the first game. And exactly what's happening on to the second game as well. Um, their crystal, is their base is a bit bare. They still have their... Um, turret up top but again they can't play it too confident as well they have to start playing for picks here they have to get that gun and mo immediately but chow is just not allowing that to happen during following up that kill with a uh, kill on liang sef is out of the equation 30 seconds until he spawns no roamer for the side of extraction ph but they are going to manage to get one turret down mm -hmm. i love this play coming in from both grim and uh Krafer. i love how they're doing this um 
how, how, how they're doing this. They're just going to get one objective and then just immediately um, teleport back to their base. But another engagement is going to be coming on, in onto the middle part of the lane. But again, they're going to be backing away. There is no objective. That's a smart play coming in from the side of Extraction PH. They have to keep this up. Just keep the side of Voin Alliance very busy. But let's look onto the top lane because we are going to be heading on to Ganon Mo oh, cool. versus... Oh, but there's a big engagement here. And there you go. Grim is out of the equation. Liang as well. And that's already two casualties for the side of Extraction PH. Can they manage to defend? Uh -oh. Uh oh The focus fire on the crystal is ongoing on the side of Team Void Alliance right now. Unstoppable kill onto the Lubu. Not even stopping with that one. Now it's just Crafer. And there I go. It is. Is this going to be the end? They're going to be just waiting. It is a wipeout indeed. And there goes a 2-0 win in favor of Void Alliance, congratulations, as they will be moving forward to the semifinals round tomorrow, and they will be meeting out Malaysia's XDG team, another strong team to go up mm -hmm. against with. So that gives us a winner, Indonesia versus Philippines. Indonesia <laughs> win. Congratulations, Boy and Alliance. Extraction PH well played it's still a good game for you guys but looking on to our game results um i mean what do we expect from um just the aggression coming in from the side of wine alliance i mean dolia with 15 assists you have to commend that as well and of course the casualties were very minimal on the side of uh Voin alliance this. Yeah, yeah, just two deaths, deaths on the side of Team Voin Alliance and but in fairness, I love the variety of the teams playing tomorrow. We have one, uh, two Malaysian teams, one Philippines and one Indonesia. Who wouldn't love that variety? Could have been another mm, Myanmar team, but yeah, um, it was quite limited in terms of slot. But anyway, you know, one thing I realized when I was like watching how Crafer was trying to save Grim. Uh, a while ago, it was it was yep. so close when Grim was able to uh, right. when he uh, was almost to go going back onto the base, but he got knocked up by I think it it was Yu Yud on the Lubu, and then when he got knocked up onto the air, um, he wasn't able to teleport back to the base. So I think yep. that's that's one thing I realized that okay, once you are up in the air, you won't be able to go back into the base. But yeah, MVP of the game is gonna be Chooks. Oh, finally. He was my MVP since game one. The, the, the Guan Yu play that he did so well, and now the Lubu play that he did so well again, not really having that second thoughts of, am I gonna go ultimate? Should I reserve this later? No, mm -hmm. he's, he is fully committed, and we want commitment, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I do agree. I mean, with a KDA of 6 so fight rate of 60%, he was just mostly there for the zoning out. And Stingy when it comes to his ultimates as well. Um, that's what I noticed. So it's it's a job well done for um, Cho, uh, for for Voin Alliance because they were able to um, capitalize on the ult of the Lubu so that they can actually zone out the members, especially the jungle of um, of Extraction PH. Now we're going to be looking onto our brackets, of course. DTH Global Easy Reborn versus Easy Reborn. You guys are going to be able to see that tomorrow and Voin Alliance versus XDG now we do have Malaysia versus Philippines tomorrow and then uh Indonesia versus Malaysia now this is going to be interesting I'm excited is it going to be Philippines versus Malaysia or is it going to be Malaysia versus Malaysia or Malaysia versus Indonesia if you guys haven't already make sure to like and follow the page of CLX Production so that you guys are going to be able to see how that's going to unravel tomorrow. Yes, definitely. I'm so excited about that. So make sure you follow and learn from the tournament because a lot of former pl pl pro players in here are executing really well played game actually from uh, the experience i just realized that there were a lot of uh, pros from yes. the side of point alliance coming from the 
supposed to be international version of the honor of kings china and mm -hmm. i think they adapted the skills that they are uh, they that they got from those experiences towards this new upcoming title which is about to have uh this global launch this uh june 20 so i'm so excited and i'm happy to see those amazing plays being pulled off just a lot of two zeros tonight right i wonder if we will see a two one tomorrow what do you think miss i mean we're now moving towards almost the end of the tournament so am i expecting a 2-1 yes um most likely but it's going to be such a big statement for um the teams that's going to be moving forward or moving towards the finals wherein they just swept all of their competition with a 2-0 because now are they the giants and now the question is who's going to be the giants for a session of kings is it going to be um another country representative or is it going to be the philippine representative of course that's going to be the questions that's going to be answered tomorrow so again if you haven't already make sure to like and follow the page of clx production so that you guys are updated with our tournament schedules as well as the time that we go live so that you guys are aware of who's going to be winning and moving towards our grand finals on saturday i believe or on friday i think it's on saturday it's gonna be tomorrow so i tomorrow. think everything is tomorrow so yeah so one last night to close the tournament make sure you watch it out but for the meantime i think it's time to rest everyone from a very dreaded match i'm pretty sure everyone got their experience whether you uh you even if you lost uh, the, from the tournament i think it's still a win because you gained some experience but yeah we're signing out i'm kaysaya with me is miss air we thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow good night